Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. You know, everyone on the team loves Portal. It's a great game. We, we all remember playing it. We all loved it, importantly, as well. My name is Alex Dunn. Uh, I work at NVIDIA Lightspeed Studios, uh, currently uh, developing RTX Remix and uh, Portal with RTX. The portal will open in three, two, one. For the rendering team, we were really excited about adding ray tracing into Portal. It gives us this opportunity to build something really cool, like obviously objects go through portals in the original game, but with ray tracing it really enables us to take that to the next level. Like we want light to go through portals and behave as a portal might in the real world. So let's just take a walk around, shall we? Gotta get that cube. So working with Val's been pretty fun. Um, you know, it's good collaboration. Uh, they were pretty excited to see a lot of this stuff come online and excited to sort of talk with us about the original art style and intent of a lot of these things that we're seeing. Especially, it's super important when you're redesigning a lot of the materials in the original. We want to keep the soul of the original game sort of alive and not completely break things when we're you know, remastering or enhancing a game like this. Um, so, for instance, the cube sitting on top of the pedestal here, um, it's reflected in all of the scene, its lighting is pretty prominent, which is important, I guess, because it's, you know, it's a main gameplay mechanic. It's actually the first thing you kind of need to do when coming into this chamber. So it's important that these things are highlighted as much as possible for the player. Another good example of that is actually the portal. And their placement in the scene is um, you know, very obvious, given that you know, they're casting so much light, both in reflections, but actually even the light that's coming through them as well. Another great example is these blue dots, you know, which turn to orange dots. They're, they're there to guide the player through these puzzles. And the fact that they're illuminated in the scene and just made a little bit more prominent, uh, but also it lets us react dynamically to change in lighting in the environment, which is something that's a little bit more difficult to do with a environment map or cube map. But you can see as I've moved the portal around here, you can see that reflection being updated, not only in the effect as it shoots out of the portal gun, but when that portal gun effect intersects the world and you know, creates a portal, we can see that change reflected in the reflections, <laughs> no pun intended. And uh, you're probably familiar, this looks a little bit more like the portal two button than the portal one button. But in starting with the portal two button, that really gave us a sort of more high resolution baseline to go from. Uh, and it allowed us to, you know, make these screens and stuff on the button itself. Perhaps probably the most obvious thing is that we turned, you know, the top of the button into glass. And that's really just to, you know, sort of emphasize the object in the screen, uh, solidify sort of placement of key, uh, of key gameplay aspects like the portal itself, which you can see reflected in here. And yeah, just to kind of show off the reflections and refractions of path tracing a little bit. So you see the inner mechanism here. Let's try and progress through the puzzle, shall we? So the high energy pellet, as it's called in the original game, uh, we, we didn't feel like it was high energy enough. So we, we attached a light to it. And so you can see now how that light is affecting all the shadows and, and even the reflections in this room. If I turn around and look at these metallic panels here. Uh, not only that, but this being a dynamic light is also going to be propagated through portals. It's coming towards us and you can see that light being reflected on the floor and on the walls and anywhere where that light would generally reach. This might be a good place to stop and sort of look at some of the individual technologies that make up this experience. So I'm going to bring up the dev menu here and I will first of all just turn a few things off. So when path tracing a scene, um, the, the raw output we, you generally tend to get is actually just pure noise. Uh, there, there's many factors for this. Uh, first of all, the amount of lights in a room you can't generally, com there's, there's no consumer GPU generally powerful enough to compute all of the lights per pixel. And remember, there could be millions of lights. All of these little blue dots emit light. The portal rings themselves emit light, like these uh, decals that are, uh, you know, indicating where the player should move to. They, these all emit light. And generally, we can't compute light exactly perfectly for each of those. 
So we take a stochastic approach, right, where we're selecting a number of lights per pixel, picking ideal candidates, and then doing proper sampling for these. And it's this stochastic approach that gives rise to all this noise. The noise is not generally a problem. Uh, using our NVIDIA's NRD technology, we can denoise this signal pretty effectively. As you can see with these technologies alone, this signal is pretty cohesive. I, you, there's really not a lot of noise left here, and not much left to do but just enable that denoising to, to produce this final output image. So continue walking through. We, you know, we have a fantastic art team in-house at NVIDIA Lightspeed um, that has been working on not only um, reimagining a lot of these textures, re-authoring them at much higher resolutions where you know, the original game might have been 512 by 512 uh, dimension resolution. Uh, like our remastered textures are you know, mostly 4K by 4K, 8K by 8K. Uh, so they're pretty detailed and high res now. Here we go. And then it's not only about the lights as well, but of course we came in and, and we took a look at most of the models actually too. So like maybe the portal gun is the most obvious one in view just now. It's a complete rebuild um, with just higher resolution geometry. You know, we added that extra realistic glass in, in the that hides sort of the, I guess, the fuel for the portal gun, the energy that's contained in the middle there. The best experience is going to be had on the, uh, you know, the 4080, 4090, ADA class GeForce GPUs. Um, but, you know, we're um, also implementing support all the way down to the 3060, actually. So we'll, it should run perfectly fine on any RT-capable GPU. I mean, everything you see here, in fact, will be releasing all of this such that these results can be replicated via RTX Remix. And you know, that includes um, like changing lights, uh, materials, obviously, this is probably the, the easiest to spot change looking at this image right now. And of course, meshes, uh, and, you know, uh, remeshing, uh, upscaling the geometry so it's a bit higher fidelity. Um, all these things will be available to users of RTX Remix.